Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to another segment of The MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ, wearing the Michigan Conservative Roundtable hat. Mac's wearing his Ultra Mega hat. Bravo. That's because Mac is Ultra Mega. Yeah. Uh, well, I think I can speak for Mac on this, but uh, I'd like to think that uh, Mac and I have a fairly well-rounded vocabulary. Uh, but I came across a new word just this week, a word that I didn't know existed, and uh, and I have expanded my vocabulary. Caudacity. I, Caudacity. You know, I stumbled across that, too, and I thought, are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> kidding me? Now, believe it or not, believe it or not, there is a slight dispute within the urban community. Is it caudacity or caucasity? Because if you if you look it up in the urban dictionary, right. they pronounce it as caucasity. But what, when I when I heard about it, it was used uh, uh, as caudacity. Now, for those unaware of caudacity, it's a noun, but it comes from two words. It's a combination of two words: audacity, which is a noun, and audacity. Uh, to be rude, disrespectful behavior, impudence. Uh, uh, I had the audacity to smack Mac in the face, you know, so, something like that. Okay, uh, and then and then it and and then it's combined with Caucasian. Uh, that's an adjective, and uh, white skinned of European origin, and they, there is actually a definition to this word. It is the, uh, you know, caudacity or caucasity, okay, is the audacity of white people, meaning the willingness to take bold risks that only white people feel safe doing. The caudacity of it. Oh, tisk, tisk. Having the utter boldness and unbridled audacity of a melanin lacking individual to say or participate in activities viewed as irrational, dangerous, or obscure to most other demographics. Caudacity. Your thoughts, Mac? Well, well <laughs> melanin lacking. So it's the more melanin you have, the more superior you are then, I'm guessing? I don't know. I, I is, guess is, you, is that the, is you have that the less process? You, well, you know, then you don't have caudacity then. I don't have it, no. no. I don't even know when I would have it. What What bold move would I make? I don't know if fish. I can make this word up, I, you know. Well, it's all part of the hate white people uh, program, and now, if you don't believe it's the, if it's if you don't believe it's going on, then 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 you're asleep, or perhaps you're a moron. I I, I don't know, uh, but or you're in denial for certain. But it is going on. Uh, you see oh, it's it in, going on in the military because that, that's where I'm going next with this. Okay, let's hear that. Uh, uh, a Kalisa Wing, she is uh, uh, administrator in uh, Department of Defense, uh, and she is the administrator of diversity, equity, and inclusion. She is the literal definition of a racist, and as I pointed about lack of melanin, that 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 uh, smacks of uh, superiority. She feels that black people are superior to white people, and she is the literal definition of a racist. Well, she tweeted something, which uh, <laughs> I guess this past week, the House of Representatives, and, and when we say the House of Representatives, again, we will say the, the Republicans. But uh, there, there was a the House of Representatives had, had a committee this past week. And at the committee, they had uh, Gilbert Cisneros, okay? And I guess he's uh, one of the upper echelon guys in the Department of Defense. And they read to him the tweet of Calissa Wing. The tweet reads, I'm so exhausted at these white folks, F-O-L-X. Yeah, I, I caught these, that as well in these PD sessions, and I think that was an abbreviation for professional development, maybe, okay? 
So I'm exhausted with these white folks in these PD sessions that this lady actually had the caudacity to ask if black people can be racist too. Uh, so even ask, even asking a question is out of line in their mind. So uh, uh, last I heard, because I, I did a little research on this, uh, she had been reassigned uh, for restructuring purposes. Uh, yeah. Other, not so much disciplinary, but they, they, they just restructured. They put her on the back burner, but she's still on the stove. Oh, That's my you problem. know what? Yeah, big time, big time. And, uh, well, Cisneros said they would look into it, and uh, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. You know, well, about what, the only what, way you get kicked out of this uh, administration is if you're ripping off people's luggage at the airport. Yeah, really. And then wearing the clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big time. You know what? He had caudacity. Oh, he most certainly did. He, he stole an Indian woman's design and then wore the clothes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, the, the caudacity of him to wear someone else's uh, of a female gender, oops, uh, clothing, you know? Well, I don't know what he considered himself if he thought he was fluid, which is, of course, ridiculous, well, or he thought he was a woman, which he is not. Uh, I, I could. That's why we call him he up. and him. I don't know. I, I don't see how I could have ever possibly made a word like this up, you know, and, and it's in the Urban Dictionary. You, you can look it up. You can look it up. Well, it's there. Now, it's there. I would tell you many black Americans, maybe not many, maybe that's an overstatement. Some black Americans who uh, are really haters of white people. And yes, black people can be racist. Anyone can be racist. This nonsense of we don't have the where she she made the comment about those comments that she was that we're a minority. She can't be racist. Where in the definition of that word does it say anything to do with being a majority or a minority to be racist? It, it, the, the definition of the word is that you you feel your race is superior to other races and, you know, and so on and so forth. See, they don't even want to come after what you do. They want to come after what maybe maybe what you think. And they yeah. decide what you think. Oh, yeah. And and they've decided it with this word called caulk or caudacity. Yep. Well, the audacity to use the word caudacity. <laughs> well, if it weren't for Barack Obama's book, The Audacity to Hope, uh, she probably wouldn't even know the word. It'd be my guess. Because yeah. she's an idiot. I just... Uh... I, I just had to share that with everyone here. So I that, that that's all I got for this. We yeah. just, you know, you, you could just put it in, just just write it down as another item in the insanity column of the left. You know, making words up. That, that's a made up word is what it is. Of course, that it word is. It's is not, completely it's not the made English up language. You know, I mean. You know, from the Latin derivative of whatever, you know, blah, blah. Yeah, I just, yeah. Uh. We, we should do a video on words we make up. Yeah. And yeah. ask our audience to make up some words. Yeah. Big time. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep ranting on this. So I guess I'll stop. Uh, any last thoughts? That's it. Okay. It's, it's a place where I never thought we could get to. I never even imagined it. Yep. All right. Catch you next time. Thanks, everyone, for your support. Uh, see you in the next one. As always, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me.